Blitz. High school football from the field to your screen. Sponsored by Moxie Credit Union and KW Recovery Lab. Welcome to The Blitz, I'm Frankie Tovar. What up, I'm Eddie Ruiz. And you're seeing our faces twice in one week. That's because we had back-to-back -back playoff games. Pittman beat Davis on Thursday and Turlock High. They beat Kasum's Oaks on Friday night, 28 to zero. What a beat down by the Bulldogs. It was, and then you take a look at the discrepancy. Turlock's defense, they dominated the game for the most part. They held Kasum's Oaks to just 151 yards. And then on offense, Turlock had 278 yards. Uh, they did a good job, and then the highlights, you guys just check it out. It was kind of brief, but... You know, Very kind of brief. Explained. Short, yeah. but sweet. So let's get right to it, the Friday night highlights. The game opened with Turlock's D showing what they're made of. Here's a fourth down play with Cameron Broussard rolling to his right. He needs six yards for the first down. He leaps, but he comes up short. But hey, the Wolfpack, they'll get the ball back immediately. Here's Brock Pasley in only his second start of the season, rolling and throwing on the run. But instead of a receiver, he finds... Brandon Jennings for the interception. Nothing comes of it though. So here's Pasley connecting with Sherwood for 12 yards. And then a few plays later, it's the same connection on the far side of the field. Pasley finds a wide open Cam Sherwood for another 12 yard gain. And it sets up an eight yard touchdown run from Lucas Curtis to put the Bulldogs up 7-0 with 35 seconds left in the first quarter. Turlock keeps on going though. Check out the offense. It's gonna be the second scoring drive. Here's Pasley, finds Curtis. That's a six yard pickup. That was on a fourth down play by the other side. Anthony Frias, seven yard pickup. And then Pasley ends this one to Casey Carr. A 23 yard touchdown pass makes it 14-0 with 440 left in the second. And now we're in the third quarter and that's Freyas up the middle for eight yards dragging defenders followed by an old-fashioned option. Pasley, he baits the defense, then pitches to Curtis, who goes airborne. He lands at the one-yard line, setting up his second touchdown of the night to make the score 21-0 with 7.39 left in the quarter. All right, so we jump into the fourth quarter. It's going to be the last scoring drive for Turlock. It's going to be it. Check it out. Pasley finds Miguel Pena, who makes makes a lot of guys miss by uh, showing it. He's got some good speed. Check that out. That was a 56-yard pickup, and this drive ends with a Lucas Curtis, his third touchdown of the game. 18-yard touchdown makes it 28-0, to and this kid is on fire tonight, man. So we know it then. So we were winding it. Why are we winding it? Because it's the play of the game! And check it out, you know, Curtis makes everyone miss because he's got breakaway speed, and that's it. That's your final. Turlock moves on 28 to 0. They're facing Oak Ridge next. We weren't lying, that was real quick. Four yeah. possessions, four touchdowns essentially. So Pretty hey, much. congratulations to the Bulldogs. Let's see if they can continue that next week against Oak Ridge. But hey, before we talk more about that matchup, yeah. let's recognize our sponsors, Moxie Credit Union and KW Recovery Lab. Eddie Ruiz, I have one question for you. What's up, Frankie? Where's the place to go if I need a loan? There's only one spot, it's Moxie Credit Union. If you need a toy loan, auto loan, home loan, any sort of loan, or it's your first time loan as well, check out Moxie Credit Union on gear and let them know that the Blitz sent you. Frankie, my hand is cramping up a little bit from holding up this mic for so long and like this. I mean, where should I go, man, to sort of treat any sort of you know, injury like you this? You need to go to KW Recovery Lab in Turlock and ask for Susie because she's going to hook you up. Get ahead of the game, Eddie. Get that hand in shape. And hey, we got cryotherapy. We got ice baths. We got Norma Tech Recovery Lounge. We got so, so much more. And players out there, you buy one session, get the second one half off. You can't beat it. Recover as hard as you train with KW Recovery Lab. All right, you take a look at the individual stats. There's no question about it that, at least not even in our minds, just in general, Lucas Curtis, one of the players of the game. He had three of the four touchdowns. He had 13 carries, 91 yards rushing. And then Frias, the workhorse, as we like to call him, he had 12 carries for 60 yards. Hard earned 60 yards. Definitely, but the story of the game has to be Brock Pasley, the junior quarterback, and only his second start. He had to step in for an injured Jonah Kozakiewicz. And man, he delivered 9 of 13, 125 yards and a touchdown he did have two interceptions but hey we'll excuse that because as i said it's only his second start of the entire season so yeah, hey the brock pasley the kw cover lap impact player of the game first playoff game uh jonah went down against Pittman. i think third or fourth quarter uh just was ready to play they said go in tuesday uh monday tuesday he couldn't practice finally came back wednesday made the decision thursday and now we're here first start was against modesto week six uh had a pretty good game uh, but I've just been preparing like I've been starting all, all year. 
Um, but yeah, just came out what we did, same thing, nothing changed. Uh, just we got a different quarterback, and we all still a team. We still play the same game. A lot of respect to defense. There's nothing like a goose egg on the board. It just takes a lot of pressure off the offense. Couldn't ask for more. Offense line did their job. Definitely did their job. Skill players, everybody came out. It's team effort. Uh, we're all going to celebrate, but like Pete says, 24-hour rule that ends tomorrow. This one was especially, it was a very special game for our seniors, you know. I mean, every week could be their last week. We prepare it like it could be their last week. You know, we plan to win, but um, last game at home, never lost at home. It's a great feeling, but come out next week. Shout out to KW, recovery, been there before for the shoulder, going to go there, probably take Anthony Frias, it's going to be a great time. Okay, so Friday was yes. Turlock's fifth straight playoff appearance, mm -hmm. and it was their seventh win in school history. Man, the Bulldogs are on a roll, but they'll be traveling wow. to face a juggernaut yeah. in Oak Ridge next Friday. Man, that is number 50 in California, 7-3 and three overall, but their schedule is a gauntlet. Maybe you can even argue and say it's a little tougher than Turlocks, I'm just saying. But take a look at them. They're coming off a 31-13 win over Elk Grove, and we know Elk Grove is a super competitive team. They've put up over 340 points in 10 games. They're pretty good. Uh, I think Turlock has their hands full. There's no question about it. And they know that too. But Turlock, they have to represent because Turlock and Pittman are the only remaining CCAL teams in the Division I bracket. Gregory and Modesto both fell Friday night, and then the only other CCAL team in the entire playoffs is Downey in Division Two, so we'll see which team, if both teams or either team one or one, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah. Pittman and Turlock both playing on the road next week in huge games, but we also have two other teams next week we do. who are playing in playoff games. We have Denaire versus Gustine, yeah. and then Hilmar versus Amador. These are going to be some great matchups. What do you know about those matchups, Eddie? Well, what I do know is, you know, you take a look at Denaire, they're number one. We take a look at the D7 bracket, and then Hilmar, they're number two when you take a look at the D6 bracket, and they're taking on two teams that, uh, well, Gustine, they pulled off a one point, I don't want to say upset, but a one point so victory. They, they squeaked their way kind of in there against Millennium, I believe. And then you take a look at Amador. They, they kind of rolled through Houston and they were a lower seed. Uh, so I'm actually expecting, I'll tell you what, I'm expecting uh, our teams to, to play tough and perhaps they should come out with the win. But I'll tell you what, there's not going to be a surprise because it's playoffs if there's upsets. And that's just because it's playoff time. You don't know what to expect. Yeah. I just hope they come out ready. And then coming off a of bye week, it's a little weird. I don't know. Yeah, they both had first round buys. Yeah. If I had to put my money down, which I don't do, by the way, I would bet that Denaire and Hilmar both come away with wins. But we can only choose one game to cover. Yeah. And we're going with the 9-1 and one team, Denaire. The first Blitz playoff coverage for the Coyotes. Yeah. And we can't wait to see it. Ooh. I hope they come out and play fierce. I think they will. Yeah. No, there's no question about it, man. Yeah, I know so, they're going to be excited, too, to have sir. Yeah, so be excited, everybody out there. You can watch that at TurlockJournal.com. You can find all the other content on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Turlock Journal. So until next week, I'm Frankie Tovar. I'm Eddie Ruiz. Good night.